The time to switch to smarter energy vehicles is here. The South African Automotive Industries Premium Thought Leadership Conference was recently held at the Carl Army International Race Circuit in Midrand. The South African Auto Week was hosted by the South African Automotive Business Council, better known as NAMSA. Supported by innovative virtual conferencing platforms, the South African Auto Week brought together industry thought leaders from local, regional, continental and global business and government institutions to consolidate efforts that will compellingly drive the transition to new energy and smarter technologies in the future, which is already growing exponentially as we speak. From what we saw at the South African Auto Week, the future for these greener vehicles looks bright. Although we are in the first phase of a big shift to the manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles, manufacturers do realize that they will be facing some brand new challenges in the foreseeable future. Our market uh, is uh, being impacted by what's happening uh, globally. So there is a shift uh, to electric uh, vehicles, um, especially for um, car companies like ourselves uh, who export the uh, internal combustion engines to the international market. So we have a challenge because some of those countries uh, will ban uh, the um, export of those cars. So for the local economy, for the local um, market, so we'll have to start thinking on how do we uh, transform to electric car vehicles. For now, these are the cars that uh, we will be building uh, for the foreseeable future. But over time, we'll have to uh, uh, transform um, or, transit or, or have a transition to the uh, electric vehicles. Although electric vehicles remain on the higher end of the market, Toyota has launched some self-charging hybrid vehicles that offer excellent fuel efficiency. With Corolla Cross models especially proving popular of late, hybrid options are also available in the Corolla and RAV4 model ranges, while a new RAV4 plug-in hybrid will also be available shortly. The new Toyota Crown range has also been confirmed for South Africa which will incorporate the latest hybrid technology. While the first full electric Toyota for South Africa will likely be the BZ4X SUV model that will offer a range of around 400 kilometers. Suzuki will be launching the Grand Vitara Hybrid in 2023, which will surely offer great fuel efficiency, low emissions, and we are told excellent value in terms of pricing too. Volkswagen South Africa plans to launch their first fully electric vehicle to our market in 2023 in the form of the VW ID4. The ID4 will have a range of around 520 kilometers and should offer consumers one of the most affordable electric vehicle options available. Nissan was at the forefront of the shift to electric vehicles when they launched the fully electric Leaf a few years ago. Exciting news is that Nissan will also be adding an e-power hybrid model to their recently launched Qashqai model range in 2023. Mercedes-Benz recently launched a comprehensive electric vehicle offering with their EQ range of models. Mercedes-Benz's EQE and EQS luxury sedans offer a distance range of up to 770 kilometers, while the manufacturer's EQA, EQB and EQC SUVs are capable of distances of up to 493 kilometers on a fully charged battery. German automotive manufacturer Audi introduced six highly anticipated e-tron models to the South African market in 2022. Audi's e-tron 55 SUV is the lowest cost model in the lineup, offering a range of around 440 kilometers while the Sportier S Sportback model can travel up to 478 kilometers in between charging. While Audi's e-tron GT and RS models distinctly target performance enthusiasts. BMW South Africa has also recently brought some exciting new electric vehicle offerings to our shores. The BMW iX3 is an electric vehicle based on its X3 SUV stablemate and promises a range of around 630 kilometers, while the i4 M50 sedan offers a range of up to 510 kilometers. While the flagship iX xDrive 40 and 50 models that compete at the high end of the luxury SUV market
promises a range of around 425 and 630 kilometers, respectively. Launched in South Africa in 2018, the Jaguar I-Pace was the winner of the 2019 World Car of the Year Award and has been at the forefront of the luxury SUV electric car market in South Africa and remains on sale today, while new electric models are expected from Jaguar soon. So yes, the future of hybrid and electric vehicle offerings in South Africa is looking bright, and so too are the planning for the increasing of charging infrastructure and more efficient charging stations. While these vehicles are getting more exciting by the day, with level of performance that would silence even the most skeptical people out there. The future of these greener vehicles is certainly looking bright with an influx of new and exciting electric and hybrid models expected to hit our shores in 2023. Be sure to visit motors.cars for more information on our range of electric and hybrid vehicles on offer.